Hello. Hey, okay. how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm still catching up. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at our agenda and I'm like, ah, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. I yeah, I don't have much. Let me just put my name. Oh, why is it doing? I don't want it to do that. Um, yeah, I'm, I can, I, I, I'm pretty far along with the framework, which is pretty cool. And as you know, um, Scott volunteered to help. So he's going to interview a few other people. And I think once we have that, it's already kind of massive, but it's good. Um, I think we Have can we done interviews yet uh four. Oh, cool yeah and i think four let me see and um yeah i th i think there is really good intel uh and scott wanted to speak with uh, someone from containerd and prometheus so i think that's good i just realized like the bigger projects have a lot more in so it's 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 good right like the smaller projects they have bits and pieces here that are interesting but they're also just trying to figure it out <laughs> so but the big ones have already figured it out which is so useful to get their info oh yeah so i'm just slowly signing in hey karen hello Yeah. Yeah, and I think Scott is on PTO still. Do you know that, Karen? I think like I was talking to him. Um, he hasn't told me anything, so uh, yeah. I could probably check. We'll see. Yeah, because I, I pinged him, and he was going to me during his vacation. I was like, no, 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 just take your vacation. <laughs> like, um, but so, yeah, I don't know when he's gonna come back. But I think like yeah, once. I yeah. wanted to do kind of the. Hmm? Um, I don't think he's he's like not online as far as I can tell on Teams, so um, he's probably he's out. Probably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so. He was gonna take. He said he was gonna take some vacation, but uh, and it's summer over there, so it's like the best time. And they have pretty much managed to, you know, deal with COVID really good yeah. <laughs> so i don't know how they do it the, the aussies but they're doing fantastic so he's probably having fun <laughs> i was just hoping to get an idea of what people are actively working on and if anyone can help or you know move stuff forward or collaborate i just posted it in the agenda we have like a yeah, content tracking issue of things we needed to make. No. Um, hmm. There's the contribution ladder. I don't know. Can we mark that off yet? Or is that still, we're still iterating on that? I th the last thing I remember was Paris was going to take it to some people to approve or something. And I don't know if that ever happened. Oh, okay. Um, as far as I can tell, like, I don't think anything's happened to the, um, to, like, the file. It's just kind of still sitting there. I don't know if, like, they would have done anything on GitHub or if it was more of just, like, approval during a meeting. Um, but not, yeah, not, I don't think anything's changed. Yeah, okay. Um... The framework which should be somewhere in here, right? I don't think we've captured that. Let's add that. Oh, let me edit this issue. And we have the contributor framework. Is that the right name for it? Your contributor growth framework. Growth framework. Um, what's your GitHub name? Uh, I'm just gonna uh, just link you on this. It's cat pack. 
Oh, hey. not one. That was. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not it. <laughs> okay. That all. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That shows up. Um. And here, I, I, I'm just wondering, what is the like, wait, because I don't really know the flow, and I, I've seen that. Yeah. Karen was super white, like already in the almost done with the sharing. So we have it now in a Google Doc, uh, and I want to do like the uh, what's it called the um, um, handover to uh, Scott so he can interview his people. Yep. And then ideally, I think it's ready to share it with other people so they can put like so we would have to put it on GitHub somehow. So how how are yeah. What are um, I, we're not ready yet, but just so I understand what we have to do. Well, let's look at what Karen's PR was, because that's basically what we want people to do. Do you need the link? I can drop it in. Okay, yeah, yeah, because your PR kind of shows how to go through that process. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, and there's a the the pull request that added it, but. What? There was like your pull request that showed how to, oh, I guess it wasn't a pull request, okay. Never mind then. Oh um, yeah, I put some, I created a drafts folder and then. Yeah, okay. So Catherine, what you would wanna do is make something like that. If it's a template, we have like special comments. If it's a pure content like advisory thing, you can just write it marked down and not worry about it. Um, you can just what? You can just write markdown and not have to worry about, we have like a special way of telling people like they may need to edit one of their files. Um, but you should be able to submit it to that same spot, like in that directory, the drafts directory right there. And that would give us a way to collaborate on it. And when we're ready to say, this is a recommendation and everyone can look at it and there's no like caveats like, oh, Done, don't look at it um then we'll do a pr and we'll move it to a different directory okay cool one directory up and just be like this is real content this is happening of course my mouse just died come on if i just like obsessively tap my trackpad it'll work um does that make sense though how, how to do it um your pr doesn't have to be perfect People can iterate on it and add their own things. So like you could even put it right now in there and then invite Scott to make changes using his own pull requests so that you don't have to be like the aggregator of everyone's comments and edits. Okay, cool. That sounds, that makes probably sense. Yeah. So it's there. We, we like to like favor getting anything in the repo versus having something be a Google doc for a long time or a pull request that it feels like it's never perfect enough to merge. We'd rather mm -hmm. just merge it and put it in that draft doc. Um, okay, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Um, what I've been working on is that website. Have you seen it? I don't, I'm not sure if I saw the latest version. I saw... I have reworked it over Christmas. Um, oh, oh I, I saw a link popping up, but I didn't, yeah. Yeah. I'll help girl out here. There we go. Oh. I think we changed the name of it a couple times. Think harder, Netlify. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we changed the the idea is that this would become contribute.cncf.io. I'm just waiting for people to say I can put it there. <laughs> um, and so we have one which is I want to be a contributor, and this is the existing content that is if you go to um contribute at cncf.io. The contribution guides, the ecosystem list of the projects, um, but it's now in the website. 
So it's you're is, not like reading a mark. Oh, it's file. for graduated projects. Do you have? Is it only graduated, or yeah. I'm just wondering? Is uh, I'm hoping Linkerd is for incubated or? Yeah. So if I click on incubated here, um, on the right hand side, there's a nav for all the headers, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to see some more projects. Cool. And some sandbox products. Um, this isn't content that any of us wrote. This is just existing stuff. So if you want to change it, um, you can click edit this page, um, and it'll give you a chance to edit it. But because this isn't a live site yet, I don't recommend doing that because you'll be editing, I think, my fork right now. Mm -hmm. Let me click on that. I think that's what would happen. Yeah, so you would go to Carolyn's fork, which isn't terribly useful. But if you go to the main one, um, if you need to list a project. Can you send the link, please? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I like how it hides chat every time. You're like, that's the one button I want to see. OK. Um, so that's where that content is. And then if you go to the main, you know, I want to be a maintainer. This is all of our content that's in the SIG contributor strategy repository. Um, and like, for example, the contributor growth framework or the contribution ladder, when it's ready, you'll be able to find it on this when this mm -hmm. is all up. Um, so, so for example, Project Health is one of ours that actually is finished. So you'd be able to get things in here. Um, I, don't, I don't know how to find the right people to say that we can make this website live, but eventually we'll figure it out, I guess. Um, maybe well, that's cool. Did we have anything like that before? No, right? No. No, we, we don't have anything like this. Right now, we just have these two separate repositories, one for SIG contributor strategy, and the other one, I don't know who runs it, actually. <laughs> but it's just that other repo. And so this kind of combines it and gives it um, way better formatting potential, I think. I assume fun. Amy knows that this exists, right? Sorry? Does Amy know that this exists? Amy knows it exists. She's okay. like, let me make it go live immediately. <laughs> but um, I wasn't really sure who got to say that because there is an existing, um, like the domain we want to use is an existing domain. Yeah. And it points somewhere. And um, people have already demonstrated that like, I, I can't just muss with it. <laughs> Yeah, um, like I wonder if it has to go the to the right board to be voted on or something. Yeah, so I don't know if it's the TOC we need to ask or, and I think we talked about, the TOC talked about this this morning, I think. Um, so maybe I should go and watch that recording. Uh, or maybe it's Eeyore, I'm not sure who, who. Or do you think it happens at the board level? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, at the moment, that like I said, it just redirects to this. Right. Oh, and what we need to make sure is that we don't redirect, redirect it to something that's broken. That's right. the most important thing. So if we, if we switch it, it needs to, needs to be done enough yeah. <laughs> that we don't move backwards in terms of, you know, what's here. Um, well. But wouldn't Amy know? Oh, I can't Amy. Go. Let's see. Let's see if she knows what else needs to happen. Um, so I'll follow up with her today and figure, figure that out. Um, like I imagine if anything, it's just a matter of making sure it's clearly documented how to edit the site. So yeah, I wonder can... if it has to go through any like branding review or whatnot. <laughs> you know, if they wanted that, <laughs> maybe they should have paid someone to make the site. I mean, I, 
I did the same branding stuff that the Linux Foundation requires. Yeah. Which is in this footer here and it links to our trademarks. Um, if we need more branding than that to make it CNCF cool, I think the CNCF is going to pay somebody because I, I don't have like extensive yeah. skills. I'm just really good at finding themes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Doxy theme from Google. And I'm like, this looks good enough. And I just went with it. But um, if we need to like really rebrand it, we should probably get a, a designer. Yeah, and it, it looks cute and stuff, but if they want to have something that really kind of looks and feel like the CNCF, but it, they do have designers under stuff. So but I don't know if that's something they want, you know, that it kind of reflects the brand. I mean, Amy hasn't said anything every time I've shown her the site. She's never been like, this needs to get spiffed up, but I'll, I'll I don't know, we'll see. That's, I think that's the thing is no one really understands who owns the site and is <laughs> to make decisions about it. Yeah. This is why I really didn't want to use the existing domain name. <laughs> Wanted us to just make a new one, but uh, you know, that's fine. We'll get it figured out eventually. Just moves a little slower this way. Um, I don't know, that, that's all I had. Um, so it sounds like that's the work we have in progress is the contributor growth framework and the contribution ladder and the website. Is, is there like a link to the growth framework? I was just gonna ask for that. So I can- Oh, um, let me just put it. Where do I have it? Where do I have it? Hey, Charles. I just saw you, you snuck in. Mm -hmm. I did. So I'm on, I'm on dog duty this afternoon. Mm. So we're, we're just chilling on the floor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's why I'm off video. Fine. I feel like if you have a dog, you should always be on video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let us share the, like the fun of cuteness and everything. Um, cat duty isn't as exciting. They just like fall asleep under a chair somewhere, and it's pretty much all he here. does too. Okay, I'll, I just added the thanks Google Duckling. Perfect. My goodness, you even changed the default font. Wow. Oh, I have my. This looks professional. I don't like the default font. <laughs> Neither do I. This is a good one. I'm gonna have to remember Montserrat. Yeah, I love that one. I have I I have it like now it's my default, my Google Docs default font is that one. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's the way of like I wanted to, you know, like give people mention who it was. So I don't know if this is the right way of doing it, but I just started. This is it's perfect. I mean, honestly, yeah, just PR this. Let's just get in there. This is this is really far along. It, yeah, I mean, like, there's so much stuff when people start talking, you know, it's like, it's all good. Some things are kind of interesting because people contradict themselves a little bit, like different people say different things. So it's like, hmm. So I had like, I flack that. And so we have to see how we address that. But I, I wanted it to be like, it's really like, kind of like, this is the advice what people had, but I also wanted to have like a section. These are the tools, efficiency tools that people use, you know? So one of the things that we had, like, how do you make the, um, um, what's it called? The, um, um, oh God, where is it? Uh, I forgot the, the word that I mentioned. Anyways, like how do you make the whole thing like really uh, the whole flow like really easy and like uh, eliminate steps and some people have mentioned different tools that you can use and so ideally I would like to have like one section where it's like these are the tools for this for that for that like so people can just go and find like a hub for different, you know, 
things that people have used bots and 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 so I mean and and the idea I think this is like the overarching thing and I plugged in at some point it's going to uh, if when it talks about the ladder it uh, it's, has a link to the ladder which is like a very specific thing right mm -hmm. um, also at some points like if you want to have like recruitment uh, ideas like actual like how to do that it links to uh, to Paris's. Uh, rec uh, recruitment book and things like that so but this is more hi really high level right so and maybe there are like different things that we can create that kind of plugs into that I don't know if it's too massive um I was just going to suggest because it's eventually going to be on a website where you have the freedom to break it up into maybe like us its own directory with multiple like web pages inside of it mm -hmm. You know, like feel free when you submit the PR um, to to if you want to proactively just make like maybe a page for the tools. It was like one thing that yeah. kind of popped in my head. I mean, definitely feel free to do that. It doesn't need to be a single doc because when it's on the website, we'll be able to. Um, oh no, yeah, and it, like that's the easiest when you have a navigation and you can click and just see what you want to see. So otherwise, yeah, it's 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 I think that's easier right like you click on it and then you can see it i mean it, it makes it more user friendly than just you know being having the whole thing in but, front of you and you're like oh my god it's to... overwhelming <laughs> but not in a bad way but just you know i yeah. think uh people will feel a little more like i can handle reading through this if uh yeah have yeah, I was kind of picturing cool. having like a little bit like the docs where you kind of like click on things and then it opens the different sections, you're not, you don't have to necessarily see everything, you know, kind of, so I don't know, make it more, you know, bit by bit stuff, but I just started writing and putting stuff, that, so I don't know, so that's why oh, I'm, yeah. um, but don't I think there's a lot of good organization here. too much, I was simply saying that when you're, yeah. when you put it in your PR, if you, if you feel like you'd like to break it up, mm -hmm. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Charles, we were just kind of going through what anyone had that was kind of ongoing work that they're willing to say that they're doing. <laughs> I don't know if you've yeah. been on anything. I, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm working on and by working on, I'm thinking a lot about the uh, contributor or the onboarding template. So yeah. I know what the basic framework looks like and I myself need to put this into a PR just like the first, like a draft PR basically get that first round going through and then like start working on it piece by piece. But uh, I, I actually got away from the computer more than I thought I would over the last couple of weeks. So uh, yeah, so, um, but that's, that's the part that I'm working on. Okay, great. I'm just gonna yeah. add that real quick. We have an issue where we're just tracking what content we want to make and who is actively working on it at the moment. So I'm going to put your name on the onboarding yeah. framework. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is, it's been an interesting day in terms of like contributor growth because in the governance working group, we talked a lot, as you know, about the contributor ladder. There was uh, some in Paris talked about uh, just the different categories of, of contributors. And so it turns out that we're updating our governance docs today. There's a PR that came out like right after that, that I, yeah. I knew there was some work going on there, but I didn't realize that it was happening like today. So um, that is interesting. And then, um, as part, as part of that governance doc, there was a note in there about like, should we add a how to become a maintainer section, which ties in with what we're talking about here. So um, all this stuff is very timely for us right now. That's great. Can you give me your GitHub um, username just so I can tag you yeah, on it? Yeah, I'll type it in here. It's pretty, pretty easy, but um, there you go. Just see Pretzer. Sometimes people misspell my last name. No, it's fine. I just sometimes people don't use the same names everywhere. So, you know. Yeah. Okay. So we got a bunch of stuff in flight here. This is this is cool. Um is there anything else people wanted to talk about? I just kind of wanted to get us on the same page as to what we're working on. 
Um, um, can I help with anything? I mean, I, I guess I might need to make like a few updates to the contributor ladder, but aside from that, I think that's more or less done. <laughs> so. Um, did you like, want to help on one of the existing ones that we're working on right now, or did you want to grab another piece of content? Um, so I assume the ones that don't have names are the ones that like haven't been started. Yeah, so like if, if we look at the issue, there's um, the reviewing.md is one. Uh, issue templates, like suggestions for our template repo of what you could put in the, got, the dot GitHub directory, basically. Um, okay. So is the reviewing one, um, that would that be a template? Yeah, yeah, it would be a template. Um, some, some projects smoosh it all together with the contributing guide or yeah. they call it something else. Like sometimes they recall, they call it like for the maintainers, like everyone has a different name for it, but um, I think we named it after what Porter did it. Cause I wrote this <laughs> um, and it's just, it's just guidelines for when you do a review, what do we expect out of reviewers? What, what should it look like? What's the process? Do you think that it should, um, do you think it should be separate or do you think it should be combined with the contributing one? Just in the sense that like, if you're contributing, you might also wanna know what the review process is gonna look like on the other side. So I document it from both sides because they're different audiences. Sure. Um, so like here, here's, here, this was the idea for, we'd like to have something like this in the template repo. Um, the reason why I didn't put it in con the contributing guide for Porter is because people who come to the contributing guide are brand new contributors and us extolling what a reviewer should be doing. Maybe they need to be checking extra things or running manual steps or how to not be a jerk, you know? It kind of like makes that new contributor guide so big that it's overwhelming to have like it become this catch all bucket for content. Um, and at the same time, we kind of document it two different ways. We say, if you're a new person, right, this is the process as far as you're concerned. And this is what you can do to move things along. If you need to ping someone, this is what you can expect. These are your rights, basically, as a, from the contributor side. And then from the reviewer side, we put, well, what are your responsibilities? Or like, you know, honestly, like Porter, like, we'll kick you out if you don't. Um, if you're not a nice person, <laughs> we don't care if you're a maintainer or not. Um, you know, so there's things like that in there that kind of lay all this out that I think if a new contributor saw it, they'd be like, how much of this does it apply to me, et cetera. Okay. But um, I mean, I'm open to different structures. I'm, I'm gonna share a link here that one of the people who does the majority of our reviews uh, says that he loved everything that was in this code review. It's called how to make your code reviewer fall in love with you. So it's kind of the, the flipped flip side. Well, I guess not. It's from the contributor's perspective, but it also gives advice to reviewers as well. So he spoke really highly about, about it. I read through it and, and I mean, it, there's really some important points that resonate. The only reason I bring it up here is that maybe it's it will uh, help shape some of the things we do. I'm not saying that we should like fully adopt this but as we come up with templates, I think it might be helpful just for more ideas. Yeah, yeah. I think that for the reviewing thing as well, um, this probably should have a companion advisory guide where we link to stuff like this and we just talk about what we recommend in general that may not actually be in the template and maybe just be things that people think about when they're saying, how do we want to run you know, reviews for our project. And then we can like, cause I, I think I've seen something like this, not the same content, but the same like topic of just how do you do good reviews? And I think there's like five or six of them floating around that we could we could link to and be like, these are all great. They should give you some inspiration. Yeah. Is that helpful, Karen? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I'm kind of planning on just like approaching this like I did the contributor ladder and hoping that works <laughs> Okay. My motto is iterate. We'll just get anything down and then more people can get yeah. ideas and expand on it, so.
but no one's going to contribute if there's nothing there. They just will think that we don't do that content. So yeah. that's the first step is just getting it out there. Okay. Cool. Well, and at some point I would love you to have a look. So I don't know, probably if once we have the other info in there, but it's like, if you want to have a look at the growth framework at some point, that would be all. like, yeah, the more people look at it. And for me, like I'm, totally new to the open source part so it's like like yeah so uh, any feedback would be highly appreciated okay yeah yeah do you maybe want to link to it in the slack channel and I show put it, it to an even larger group of people oh um you don't have to if you're not ready but wait are you asking her to do this before she moves it to github or do you want her to do it after yeah after right yeah after yeah I don't know, should we wait until, cause um, it is super long, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, as I mentioned, Scott had already kind of gotten people from Link, uh, Containerd and, and Prometheus um, to agree for, for an interview. So I'm wondering if we should get that info first and then see, and probably then cut things that are not as, so I don't know if it may, it may yeah, probably we should get that info in there first because people are not going to look at it twice. They're just going to look at it once, right? Okay. No, I was just saying, like, we can look at it and review oh. the document that's there. And if you wanted more feedback than just us, um, you know, you can you can link it there and get, you know, Josh and everyone else looking at it. Too. Yeah. I do like the idea of putting it in, getting the PR in sooner and having people make comments in GitHub just for the posterity and, um, you know, you can tag people in GitHub as well, just as easy, easily as you can in a Google Doc. But yeah. either way, as long as we're getting eyes on it, that's the important thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to burn the, you know, like, and then after when we have like the like other information that people say like, oh, I looked at it already. So I don't know, I, but I don't know what the best process is, right? Like I want, uh, uh, like the more people can look at it and the more people can tweak and comment and, and uh, you know, the better, right? Um, but. I'm happy to do whatever you guys say is like, if earlier is better. Um, My experience is that people are more likely to leave a rando little comment on the, the Google Doc, you know? Um, and they're less likely to do large edits in, a, in your existing pull request. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. So you're saying sharing it before it's but should we wait for a Scott's input first from his interviews or? Um, you know, it's up to you. You're really, really far along. You have a ton there. If you like what you have there, I mean, I would encourage you just to get it out there and have people look at it. Um, people are way more likely to look at follow-up PRs that are much smaller and targeted, like, and here's the feedback we got from these two interviews. So we decided to update the doc in this way. Because then it's a five minute review instead of mm. at the, oh, at yeah, the moment we can mark. It like it would we maybe can, take an hour to read through. Yeah, we can color code stuff that is new and say like, hey, here's the new stuff. Can you look at that? Kind of, so it's easier the second. Well, that's why I'm saying in a, in a pull request, we can put it out there. We can do a light review for major edits, like spelling, stuff like that, whatever, like major problems, and then just get it merged. And then when Scott does his interview, he could do a second PR add mm. more stuff and then you don't have to call out what's new it'll be obvious from the pr okay but whatever you're comfortable with and you know i was just saying that you'll get more people trying to change your text in a google doc because it feels less um i don't want farther along it's just kind of easier to massively change your text than a google doc i guess in a pr it's a little harder because you're like composing in a text box <laughs> Okay, let me uh, think. I may, yeah, let, let's uh, just brainstorm with um, Charles because, like, Charles hasn't read the latest version. So, okay. I just want to make sure it's not total, like, oh, this is far too long and it's like not really useful <laughs> before I put it out there. So, have like uh, some kind of feedback before it's. Um, sure. No, whatever you're yeah. comfortable with. I was just giving you an opportunity if yeah. you were ready to move it forward. Yeah, I definitely want people. feedback, so <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, but good. 
So does anyone have anything else? This is this is all I had, really. That's all I had was to tell you that everything is happening in my head and not on my computer. So uh, I'll, 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 oh, that's what a uh, question that I had. Do y'all typically put time like or milestones on things or timelines? So I can see, I say this as somebody who values, like if I have a, an end date for something, I'm much more likely to like work on it. But at the same time, since we're, this is like, in addition to the work that we're already doing, I hate to put a like a date on something for other folks. So I think the solution there is probably me just putting my own timelines on myself, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. Occasionally we do have dates. Um, for example, if we need to get advice and recommendations to the TOC on, for example, graduation requirements, um, that's really more the governance a working group though. I think they have a more of a fire lit under them to do that. Uh, yeah. uh, otherwise, this is all volunteer work, so no one's going to yeah. be it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I will put it on my own calendar then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know, if you ever want to collaborate with people, um, you can just say like, let's try to do a working session who's interested and get together for an hour just randomly whenever. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just dump what's in my head into a PR and then um, then draw out a working or working group with folks after that or working session. Yeah, sounds good. This is a super chill working group. We we don't pressure people. <laughs> if someone wants to pressure, they're going to have to run the group instead of me. <laughs> and then nobody will like them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but... Yeah. It's not in me to push people to do free work faster. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that made sense as I was talking through it. So, yeah, those were the only things that I had. So, uh, I continue to find this group useful. So, it's great. Good. Good. I like it that, like, without pressure, we're getting stuff done, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And valuable stuff. I feel like all, all the things that are, that I've seen so far, the things that are in the pipeline, and it's all super valuable. So, so that's kind of exciting to get that all in that website, which we all cannot wait to see live. So keep us up to date when you find out. Yeah, I'm totally going to DM Amy like right after this meeting. Um, yeah, and she should know, if she doesn't know, she should know who, because like, yeah, the, it's the CNCF, someone at the CNCF must be able to, you know, say. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was, uh, it would be exciting to see that one live. I'm sure you're, you can't wait. Well, it's just that um, I have forks right now of these content repositories, and um, I'd love to just have it be in the real repositories so I don't have to maintain like merging and stuff like that. Because <laughs> as people write new things, I have to keep on top of that to make the uh, preview look right. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, Thanks, everybody. Great. Bye. Oh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye.